scale modelers to SMKR. Up next is the Revell 125th scale, the California Bug. Now this is kit number H1409. This is a little bit of a collectible, kind of a rare kit that's out there. You haven't seen a, a re-release of this. And this kit originally came out in 1975. We'll look at the box here a little bit. If you want to read, go ahead and uh, freeze the picture. I like the exhaust look on that and the louver on the rear deck lid. Of course, rendentation of dual wiper carburetors. Or dual dolertos. Dolet dolet Very cool. Very cool kit. Open it up. <clears throat> of course, this one isn't sealed. All the parts are contained in. Once again, just like uh, the previous model that I reviewed. The uh, three-in-one VW kit that I reviewed earlier. Same thing here. Tires are the two-piece hard plastic tire. I mean, they're a little pliable, but they're the two-piece. Once again, not my favorite type of tire. And we have the body. We have the chrome tree. We'll look at these a little closer. Uh, all the spare parts that have fallen off, including the glass, the clear parts. I got those in a bag. I even got the tree here, but no parts are attached. And one, two, and three. Sprue trees of orange. And we have the literature and the instructions. Join Ravel's all-star race team. Talks about how to join it and how to fill it out. Send with a dollar and then you can join. Pretty cool. And Master Modelers Club itself. What you can do to join that. Same thing, send a dollar and you can join the Master Modelers Club. Way back in the day. Here's the kit instructions. No decals came with this kit. Yellowed a little bit on the pages here. Start with the exterior details. Then we work with our interior with the belly pan, front end, front ball joint. More interior, the dash, roll bar, seats, rear seat, the tires, wheels, and hubcaps. That's the fold out style. Installing the windows. Of course, you don't want to use regular model glue on those, you want to use some kind of canopy glue or my, my favorite now is the glossy accents 
This stuff works great on clear parts and it's got a tight bond. Engine details, including the carburetors themselves, really cool. Your fan shroud, heater tubes, alternator mount and belt, and the installation. Lastly, we have some uh, skid plates, optional empty skid, skid plates as they say, and installing the exterior parts along with the really cool exhaust, the header and stinger assembly. Very cool. Be right back with the parts. Here's the body for this kit. And with this one, you actually get uh, flared fenders here, front and back. You do have the stock chrome molding on the side, has the vent window, and you also have a fine cutout here if you wanted to make this a rag top. So you, if you wanted to cut the top off and put the rag top attachment on this, I'm not sure if this kit comes with that or not. We'll look at the parts to see if they're there. And of course, you have the Volkswagen symbol on the front hood with the chrome molding. The standard flat windshield up front and your larger rear window in the back. And with your little tailpipe cutouts There's the body. Once again, here's the tires. And these do have a uh, good year on them as a make. And like I was saying, they aren't my favorite. They're very hard to glue together. And the seam is very noticeable after you do glue them together. If anybody knows any of any aftermarket tires that could be used to replace these, please put it in the comment below. Thank you. Here's the clear parts. Of course we have the two front headlights here. Very nice indentations there. And we have clear parts for the tail lights. There is a little bit of a sink mark on these. So they're going to have to take some filling with some uh, either some clear resin or some clear acrylic. Maybe even the glossy accents will work on that. Then we have the rear windshield, and it has a little bit of fogging going on with it. I um, think I'm just going to have to polish that, put a coat of future on top. Then we have the flat front windshield. We have the side windows, drivers and passenger front side and driver, driver and passenger windows with the vent windows attached. Then we have the rear quarter windows right here, so all the glass appears to be here. Here's the chrome tree, and of course attached to it will be your wheels and steering wheel assembly. The camera's going to have a hard time focusing on this. But here's your custom wheels themselves, the rims. Looks like a whip antenna. Some of your exhaust pipes. Looks like some of the shocks the stinger tailpipe, steering wheel itself, looks like the internals for the headlights, some shocks, you've got the side mirror, door handles, front turn signals, and taillight bezels themselves. Let's look at the steering wheel a little closer here. You go with the old horn handle there, the back side of the wheels themselves. A 
And that's your chrome tree right there. Next up are the orange colored parts, which includes the belly pan, the front suspension, the ball joint front end, engine components, rear firewall, and looks like the dash, rear deck lid. Get a closer look. Very nice belly pan. There's your front ball joint front end. The deck lid itself. The rear firewall of the engine compartment or the front firewall if you whatever you want to call it. Engine compart engine parts, four cylinder engine, there's a transmission, fan shroud for cooling. Looks like your single carburetor if you want to throw that on instead of the dual Webers. Some shocks, fan belt, valve covers, license plate light for the rear deck lid, and your heater manifolds. Turn it over, let's look at the dash. Typical no frills dash, does have the radio your heater knobs, your vents for the radio speaker, and of course the odometer, speedometer. Alright, up next are some of the interior components plus a little bit of the transaxle itself. Looks like a swing axle type transaxle. Let's look at the seats here, the back seat, bench seat itself. Then we have interior components for the trunk, underneath the front trunk. And we have some wheel inserts, a swing axle, portion of the swing axle of the transmission, firewall, And lastly, the last sprue tree, and these are some of the louvers that had fallen off. We have part of the bottom suspension area, the tunnel, the exhaust pipes, the velocity stacks with Weber carbs. Get a closer look. Got the racing seats here. the roll cage, roll bar, some of the skid plates, the empty skid plates. Here's the carburetors themselves, dual Webers and intake manifolds, part of the bottom of the suspension, mounts to the bottom of the belly band, part of the swing axle components in the back, and lastly your exhaust manifold or the header assembly.
And there you have it. That was the Revell 125th scale, the California Bug. Kit number H1409. This kit was released in 1974 and is kind of a rarity, so I hope you enjoy the review and the kit parts. Stay tuned for more reviews. Thanks for watching my channel, everybody. Starts the White Holden in lane two of about almost two seconds. Yes, a second and a half there. Two green lights, away they go. Watch for Thornton to rapidly catch up in the supercharged boxy. from Michael Peters. Peter Michael, I should say, is out in the lead. Can Thornton catch him? I think he will just do it. Will he or won't he? No. Oh, he's tipped over. He's cracked. A horrible crash. The car's falling into a million pieces. It's ripping apart. Oh, the rip bits of the front wheel fall off. Thank you.